tell me about it uh, because I'm kind of confused. Yeah, I mean, it's very frustrating because um, I heard the interview where Canelo said that it wasn't up to him and he had no say so whether the IBF rules was implemented. But as we know, um, that the IBF, the IBF doesn't put those rules on us. They say that it's up to the fighter's discretion. No, I didn't want that, right? No, I wanted just to fight for the belts, get my rest, wake up, and fight a great fight. Not that I need any advantages, because I don't need any advantages for Canelo Alvarez. I need to simply be my best uh, fighter inside that ring come that night. But he was going to go in there to contest the division in it. And this just sucks because this is not the history of boxing. This is not true champion behavior. You're a champion, and whatever weight class you are in, you fight those guys with the He's done it with Kodo and Khan and all of these other guys who are wasted relations on. So, I mean, it's just, when you think about true champion, I don't know if, um, I don't, I, I don't really know if we can throw that out there. Because even though he's a stellar guy, even though he's an amazing champion, but you gotta be true to the sport. You can't look for advantages in any way that you can get him. You know what I mean? Because if you're gonna be the guy, be the fair sport. So, in the contract, like, what exactly are they putting in there with the rope? That if I weigh over 170 pounds come the morning of, that I had to pay First, it was two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a pound. We got it down to a hundred thousand dollars. So this is really you guys are seeing the concerns that they have. They're thinking because I'm a big middleweight that I need to be that they want to keep me as small and dehydrated as possible. But it won't work. I, for my last fight, I felt great. I did follow the rules of the IBF and weighing. 170 the next morning, and I felt great for my fight. So I'm not really looking forward to physically being drained, but I am highlighting the fact that these guys put that in there because it's not to work. If someone from their team were to say, well, with the Golovkin fight, you didn't weigh in, and that's the reason that we have a concern and we're putting that in there, how would you respond? Well, I would respond by simply saying that um, even still, you don't control boxing because you are the biggest man in the sport. You don't start dictating what happens, and, you know, weight stipulation, there's all of these different things. I mean, you fight a fair fight, you weigh in, honestly, 160 pounds, and then you come in to fight however much you want to fight because that's been the history of boxing. Never in my life, this is like new to me, this all weight stipulation thing and, and, and contracts on everything else other than and for me, I'm a true fighter, so I'm going to do the things that I need to do. And I understand that this is the biggest fight that could be made, so I had to take that chance. Have you had a right, chance to bring it up to him? One more, and that's it. Yeah. Have you had a chance to bring I haven't had a chance to bring it up to him, but at the end of the day, what is he going to do? What is he going to say? It's nothing. It's, it's, it's Golden Boy. It's those guys, because they wanted uh, uh, more of an advantage. But I'm going to put everything into my hands coming forth this week. Thank, Thank you. Sorry for that.